just got to BAM. We're gonna take a look inside and see if there's any books for us to read. Come on along. All right, let's see what we have. We have some books as soon as you walk in. Wow, ooh, Marvel. Okay, here we go. Look at all these different books. Pete the Cat, The Grinch, this big book. Ooh. Lots of little books here for all different ages. Do you recognize any? Frosty. Okay, so we're here in the aisles, and I think we're going to take a look at some classics, maybe some Cinderella. And let's see what else. Okay. So I came across these two enchanting princess stories and traditional five minute tales. Cinderella, it's got Sleeping Beauty, the Frog Prince, Thumbelina, Snow White, Beauty and the Beast. I'll have to thumb through and see which ones I want to look at. Let's see about this one. I'll see different titles in here. If this is traditional five minute tales. So they shouldn't be too long. Ooh, this one has the three little pigs and Goldilocks, Rumpelstiltskin. Do you know all these? The gingerbread man. So I'll look through and pick some special ones to read and then we'll get to share them together. So I decided to take a seat for a minute and show you that sometimes you can find more than one version of a story, or I guess I could just say it's printed differently, but really, sometimes they make them a little bit shorter um, by different authors or by different publishing companies. So this is the story of Cinderella in this big book. Look at the beautiful pictures. Right? Aren't they pretty, pretty pictures? And then you can also find Cinderella in a book like this and a book like that. So the pictures are a little bit different. The story is primarily the same. It's just a matter of which one you want to pick for yourself and read and enjoy. Okay, so I'm going to read a little bit out of this one today. All right. Once upon a time, a lovely girl named Cinderella lived with her father, her stepmother, and two stepsisters in a beautiful home. The stepmother was cruel. She had Cinderella do all the chores. <gasps> Cinderella made friends with the animals who visited her. Every morning, Cinderella went right to work. She carried breakfast to her stepmother and stepsisters. The king invited every girl in town to a ball. The stepmother said Cinderella had to finish her chores first. Before she could do anything like that. Cinderella worked Day. She did not have time to get ready for the ball, and Cinderella's animal friends made a dress for her because she was working all day. It was so sweet, wasn't it? The mean stepsisters tore Cinderella's dress apart. <gasps> a woman here beside Cinderella. I'm your fairy godmother, she said. What do you think's gonna happen? What do you think is gonna happen? She had the dress made out of the kindness from her animal friends, and then the stepsisters came and ripped it apart. Do you think she's gonna go? 
she turned a pumpkin into a carriage and Cinderella's rags into a gown and glass slippers. The magic only lasts until midnight, her fairy godmother warned. Cinderella arrived at the ball and the prince asked her to dance. Midnight, Cinderella ran off, but she lost a slipper, and the spell was broken. The prince wanted to marry the slipper's owner. Find her, the king commanded. The stepmother locked Cinderella in the attic. Oh, my. The glass slipper didn't fit either slip stepsister because they wanted to fit in that slipper so that they could marry the prince. But that's not really who the prince loved, right? Who did the prince love? Cinderella. But she had to leave before the clock struck midnight or the spell would break and she would turn back into her normal self. Not into the beautiful princess for that little moment in time for her to go to the ball. The mice freed Cinderella and the glass slipper fit her perfectly. Cinderella and her prince lived happily ever after. And as I like to do at the end of my stories, especially my classics, I say, you can say it with me, ready? The end. Okay, what did you think of Cinderella? So now you've heard this version, maybe next time you're in a bookstore or in a library, you can pick up another version and read another one for yourself and see how you do, okay? See if she gets that slipper. I kind of think she will. Okay, bye for now. You learners next time <laughs> in the moon. Let's do a big uh, pumpkin because he turned it into a pumpkin carriage. Learning zone. That was our big pumpkin carriage. Bye friends.